Hey everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. This is the toy car tutorial part three. So this is where we kind of get into some fun stuff. We're gonna go ahead and extrude that sketch that we made in the last video. And we're gonna just move it over back after we turn off the section view so that we can kind of work with the details later. Cause we're gonna basically just indent some windows as you can see there. And I'm gonna skip the hood actually cause I decided to just add some details, but we'll get into that later. So for now, let's go ahead and just offset and make some sketches off these walls and just go ahead and indent them by a millimeter and let's do that same thing to all the other windows okay once we have that we can go ahead and add some chamfers to the hood just to give it some you know a nice little edge to make it look fancier and then let's do the same thing to the side walls there as well and then uh, adding a fillet here and again this this can go any way you want it to i'm just doing it uh, this is my little rough draft of a toy car in a sense and uh, you can add like i said any details you want but this is what i think looks good so i'm going to go ahead and replicate it on the other side as well and you could save some time uh, if you just do it on one side and then mirror it over but i like to have a visual of what i work on so it would be nice to have actually a mirror option kind of like we do in some other applications you know where we can like while we're drawing everything's replicated to the other side but uh, we currently don't have that in a shape i'm not sure if it will be coming but let's go ahead and just change up some color so we can have fun while we're working on it because it's it's much more interesting to work on something that's already the right color and the right texture but anyways adding more details to the back and now we can work on the back window so we can just offset it here and then move the bottom sketch up so we don't have to have it exactly and just figure out what looks right since this is just a toy car and you don't have exact dimensions that you have to fulfill this looks pretty good and then offset that as well or indent depending on what you want to do so this looks close enough i'm going to just go ahead and put it inside and then we're going to be working on the tail light which is actually a cool little part i really enjoyed making this and uh, this is a jeep style so we're going to make it start by starting out with a square and then we're going to add some details make sure it's a new body by the way because if it's if it's going to be the, the same body it's going to be harder to edit obviously so then let's go ahead and fillet those edges on the top and then we're gonna probably do a chamfer on the bottom because that just makes more sense to make it uh, you know look fancier because if you if we make it a two rounded it's gonna look like the classic style and the modern jeep tail lights if you have seen those they're slightly different shapes and they have much more details but we're just gonna work with uh, our own version of this so let's go ahead and offset that now so we can have like an internal square where we're gonna have the backup lights and the tail light or the turn signal rather and just again whatever looks right to your eye most people already have like a, an idea of what it should look like so it should be pretty easy to guesstimate and now what we have to do is move that sketch over a little bit because we're gonna project body lines onto this shape right and uh, it's pretty easy make sure just the imprinted body edges there and then what the cool thing is that we can edit the colors individually once that's like that. So as you can see here, I changed it to black. And at the same time, I realized I wanted to have like an actual internal frame look. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it these edges just slightly uh, so that I can have the lights on the inside. So then we'll just go ahead and change the colors individually once we have our body edges, which is the cool part. And let's do red for the outer and then the orange and the white on the inside. And it's gonna give it like a sleek modern look versus the old one, which is just like a one piece rounded edges kind of thing. So I, it's kind of like Dodge Vipers and, and Jeep Wranglers. They have this thing where like for, for decades they look the same. So uh, I, I do like that they've started changing up some details to make it look more modern. Let's go ahead and find the right color for this. And I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and we simply mirror this over because we don't need to make another one if we already have one, right? It just we have to make a center plane so we can copy it over to the other side. And that's usually a piece of cake, especially with the square. So let's delete the stuff we don't need. And then we're going to go ahead and just uh, go to more mirror. And then we're going to choose a center plane because since our vehicle is in the, in the middle. So we can either use a sketch if we're off the center or we can use the center plane. It's up to you. It's whatever the situation you're in. Next, let's go ahead and make the license plate, which is a fairly easy maneuver here. You just make a rectangle and a frame out of that by using the offset. And then we will add some text. In this case, I'm going to put JLEG just because I'm working on it. 
And uh, again, whatever looks right, this is for a toy. If it was a real license plate, I'd probably get my calipers out and go outside and get some dimensions of actual license plate uh, so I can work on that. But for this case, it's just whatever looks right. And also, don't forget to make this a new body. <laughs> Sometimes even I forget. But let's go ahead and make that a frame and then we can hide the one of them and so we can work on the other because when the sketch is extruded and you have two squares within a sketch it's kind of hard to work on it it doesn't let you extrude two separately all right next we change the colors to whatever we want in this case i'm just going to make it dark on the frame and light on the license plate because I'm, I'm from california so our license plates are just plain white with like blue letters that say california so it's pretty simple here but let's go ahead and write whatever text we want in this case j lake 3d and make sure it's the right size because that's obviously way too big i think one millimeter should probably do it yeah there we go that's a perfect size and i always like to align the center i honestly don't even always see a difference uh, regarding the alignment but it kind of does depend on where you do the add text so again we're going to go ahead and move it just a little bit actually instead of moving it let's go ahead and just simply extrude that out and make it as one body so in this case and then uh, that'll simplify things for this specific purpose. And then we can always change the color of this, the top layer just because we don't need the whole thing. It's Imagine like, you know, how a paint roller passes the top layer in manufacturing. That's basically what we did here. So let's go ahead and select all the windows, change the colors there as well, because we want this to be nice in visualizer. And I like black tinted windows when possible. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the headlights, which are pretty simple since they're a Jeep, it's just basically a circle. And if you've seen some of my tutorials, this is really easy. What, what we're gonna do here is just split it down the middle and revolve it. Uh, obviously that's not how exact headlights will look like uh, because they're not like a perfect circle unless they're really old. Those are like the really old Jeeps. And by the way, when you make a line, if you just kind of move the pen, it'll make it straight if it's rounded. But I just decided to undo and do it and sometimes it's faster this way let's extrude the frame and then like i said we're going to go ahead and revolve that inner circle and just make it as a new body and use the center plane that's why we drew that sketch in the middle and then we uh we can basically subtract uh, the headlight from the body so that it doesn't actually go inside but that's actually unnecessary unless you're splitting this into parts like let's say if you're manufacturing the toy you definitely want everything to be split into parts so that you can do things separately. For example, if you're uh, doing this out of ABS or something and you're going with plastic injection molding, you want them to be separate colors. You'll ha you're gonna have to manufacture them separately and then glue them together or however. But anyways, let's go ahead and change the colors just for the visual here. And then uh, just maybe round off the corners on the frame there to make it look slightly better. So just a small fillet. And uh, once we have that, we can mirror it over Again, using the center plane or a center sketch. Like I said, you have multiple options of the ways you can do it. But go ahead and select it by double clicking. And uh, <laughs> if you can click it, because I keep missing there. Uh, and then go ahead and use the center plane or the sketch, whatever you have at the moment. And in this case, I, I did have that center sketch because we're going to be working on the grill next. And I'm going to save that for the next video. But I'm going to start off right here. So basically how you do it is you, you sketch on one side and you basically mirror that over so you can have both sides so you can find out the measurement of the pattern that we want to make. That's going to be it for today. I'll see you guys in part four. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.